There we go. All right, so uh, hi there, and welcome to our after school special on embedding a Google Classroom calendar into your uh, school zone homework or, or news, but uh, putting it into school zone. Um, with the advent of the Google Calendar uh, from Classroom, uh, we now are able to do some sharing that allows parents to get an insight into some of the th things you're assigning in Classroom. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so um, first step is obviously you need to be using a classroom with a group of students. So you're gonna, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to head over to your uh, classroom, whatever that might be, in Google Classroom, and take a look at what you have there. Uh, this calendar we're going to create only shows assignments and questions that have uh, due dates. So you're going to want to make sure that before you start, you have something in the stream that's got due dates. Here I have one question and one assignment. So we're going to uh, have these here so we know they work. And if you're not sure about how to find that calendar or you're not that proficient with Google Calendar, one of the nice neat tricks here is if you pop over into the About section, you'll see here that uh, they've added this nifty little button that says Open in Google Calendar. So I'm actually just going to click that one here. And what that's going to do is going to take you straight to the Google Calendar that Google's creating in the background for you. And as you can see over here on the left, I'm the owner of this calendar. The same name as my classroom, Test Classroom, becomes the name of my calendar, Test Classroom. And over here, you'll see those two events that I've already posted. Because I didn't give them an end date that was, uh, I gave them an end date, but not an end time, like noon, uh, they're all day events, which is okay, because uh, when you see what we do next, that'll make sense. Now, um, at this point, this calendar is only shared with you and your students. So if you want parent access, you, what you're going to have to do is make a couple of quick changes. So we're just going to scoot on over here to the calendar. We're going to hover over the little triangle and we're going to pick share this calendar. And what you'll see right up here is you're going to want to share this calendar with others, right? So you're going to click share this calendar with others. And a really important step is for parent access, you're going to want to make this calendar public. Now, although the calendar will be public, there's no student information, there's no uh, the uh, no one out there will be able to access any of the calendar or Google Classroom links via the calendar. So really you're just putting out there that there's an assignment on a date. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. And you want to leave this piece here as see all event details so they can see the details of that assignment. Don't forget to click save. It's going to ask you once again if you want to make a calendar public. Click yes. And there you go. That calendar would now be visible to parents if they have the link. Now, we don't want parents to have to add links and things like that. So the trick here is we're going to actually embed this calendar into School Zone. Uh, and to do that, we're going to use the embed code from Calendar. So again, pop on over to this little arrow and go this time to Calendar Settings. And if you scroll about halfway down, you're going to see the text embed this calendar, you're going to want to um, come on over here. Now, this is where the embed code is, right here in this box. However, if you grab this, it's going to be a quite a large calendar. It's going to probably fill up more than the page. Uh, we don't want our students to have to scroll around the calendar a lot, nor our parents. So if you click this link right above that says customize the color, size, and other options, it'll let you play with the size of that embedded calendar so that it's more appropriate for the school zone page. I found that um, a number of about 450 pixels wide by about 400 high. Um, let them have the full view of it um, and puts it in that homework pane without forcing the students to scroll up and down a little bit. Uh, if you want it a little bit bigger, you can uh, you could go ahead and play with those dimensions till you find what looks really good. But at this point, um, just start with this because we know that it fits really well. When you're all ready, you've made the edits. You can change the color and things like that if you want to. You're going to see right up at the top a box full of what looks like gobbledygook. That's the embed code. We're going to grab all that, hit Control C to copy that text. And then at that point, we're ready to head into School Zone. So once you're in School Zone, you're going to head to your planner. You're going to make sure you're posting it to the correct classroom. Uh, if you're in an elementary, you may have one calendar for your whole class for the whole year. 
that's uh, easy. You just select homeroom, which is what I'm going to demo. If you teach um, in junior high or high school three or four different classes, you're going to want to make sure to assign the right embed code from the from the calendar to the right class. So if instead of test classroom, this was um, English 30-1 section 2, you're going to want to make sure to line that up in school zone to the identical class from your class list. In this case, I'm just going to show it putting it into homeroom. I'm going to select homework under view, and I'm going to pick add. So I'm getting ready to post homework. At the very top left of this box, you're going to see the source button. Give that a click. And now control V or paste all that embed code right in there. You click save. You should see a box appear that says iframe. Of course, I don't see that. So we're going to try that one more time. Uh, of course. So we'll just cancel this whole thing and try one more time. So homework, homeroom, add, grab source, paste that iframe, code, click save. And you should, you will in here see a box that says iframe. It should be a red rectangular box that says iframe in the middle. I'm going to save and close and see if it uh, showed up there. And there it is here. So yeah, so as you can see here. Now, the trick to this as being a little different is, you might have noticed I put it in to, for today, do tomorrow. That means that after tomorrow, this is going to disappear. So what you actually want to do with this because this is one calendar for the whole year from your classroom. So we're actually gonna change this due date all the way to the end of the year. So I'm gonna pick here June 24th and save again. Now you'll have to remember that um, you posted it at the end of the year because if you wanted to delete this, you'd have to go back to that June 24th date. But for your students, this calendar is gonna appear for the entire year. One quick way to check that is to click the student view button. You can see here, this is what it would look like. And there's the assignment and the, and the question that I posted. Um, so that's uh, the quick way. So now what's gonna happen is you've got the classroom calendar embedded. If I come into classroom here, let's say I decided to change the due date on this. I had to push it back for some reason. So I'm going to change this due date to the 19th. Click Save and Save. Um, and now if I head back into School Zone here and refresh this screen, what you're going to see is that that uh, calendar now will bump that uh, date to the 19th in the student view. As I was saying, you won't be able to see that calendar unless you skip all the way ahead to uh, June 24th, but you can always click on that student view button so you can uh, double check that your posts are going live at any time. A and that's it. Um, at the end of the day, um, you're gonna post that once and it's gonna be there uh, and you're not gonna have to go back and check that out too often, right? So you're gonna want to think about that one there as well. So uh, go ahead and give that a try. If you have any concerns, you can contact anyone with your uh, tips group uh, there. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. If you can embed, uh, grab that embed code, you're going to be able to post it in there. So uh, have fun giving that a try. And uh, check us out uh, next week for our next after school special. Thanks.